There, that was- hey, you fucking pricks. It's Lamentable Podcast here with another episode of Lamentable Podcast. As always, your hosts, Josh and Kyle, and special guest this time, Jacob. Hello, this is my second time on the podcast. It is? No, it's your third, Jacob. My third? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know that! <laughs> yes, you were in the episode with Donnie. That, oh, I forgot about that episode. Tell me more. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't need to tell you you were there, Jacob. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, you'll remember. Yeah. Just just think about it for a second. You'll remember. Oh, yeah, that's the one with that audio that cuts out, right? <laughs> yeah, the one with the really bad audio, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm... My favorite episode. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Is that the one we tried filming at Donnie's house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I remember that. I really didn't remember because I'm trying to think of like when Donnie and Jacob were at, at this house, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't really know. We got pizza from, I forget where. Pizza Hut. No, it, or was, no, it was uh, Pizza Oven. Yeah. yeah, it was Pizza Oven. Absolutely. It was a decent day. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <clears throat> that was the day that we filmed those skits that are probably yeah, going to be released. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, we'll never see the public eye, <laughs> even though we did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh, well. Anyways, <laughs> this is our 20th episode Lamentable Podcast has existed... 20 years now. Yeah, 20 years, yes. Yep. Uh, theoretically, 20 weeks, uh, even though we should probably be on, like, episode 26 by now, but we've skipped a couple weeks. But, you know, whatever. That's fine. So, episode 20, and our second video episode, which is pretty sick. I enjoy the video episodes. They're always fun to watch afterwards and be like, wow, this is pretty fucking bad. And it's like, all right, well, it'll be better. Nice. The people that I've gotten feedback from are not, they're just like, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's a video podcast, that's for sure. <laughs> what, 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 like two true. people? <laughs> yeah, literally, like yeah. two people. <laughs> Whatever, it's not that big of a deal. One of them's Kyle's dad. <laughs> he leaves, he comments on every YouTube video, he's like, this is so epic. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that definitely <laughs> happens, Jacob. But like, like those fucking YouTube comments where it's just like a, a timestamp, and it's just like this is where the real video starts, and it's just like oh yeah, the last five seconds of the podcast, and we're like, all right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a few things we're probably gonna go over in this episode: football, one hundred percent, because football is the only thing that me and Kyle surround our lives in when it's football season, because. Football well, is great. I, I mean, I also follow NASCAR. Oh, I am yeah. going to a NASCAR race next week. NASCAR. So. I don't follow NASCAR like Kyle does. My my involvement in NASCAR is usually just asking Kyle what yeah. happened the next day. I'm just like, oh, who won the race? Was there any cool crashes? And that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's happens true. like every, every Sunday or Monday. What are you up to, Jacob? Um, I, I'm back in school now. I go to college. I watch football, like you guys said. Um, still have a job. Uh, you know, that's what I've been up to. I, one of the last times I saw you guys was at that party thing. Actually, no, I saw you guys yesterday, too, because we got that fish fry from All and Arrows. Yeah. That took, like, ten years. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. We were trying to record the podcast yesterday. I think the fridge is going to blow up. So it just made some weird noises. <laughs> but we were trying to... I filmed the podcast yesterday, but it got too late because our food took too long. Yeah. We were literally in that restaurant for like an hour, and we got our food in the last, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. It was pretty stupid. I had to go to work at 9, and by the time we got out, it was, like, 7-something, I think. It was Like, when I got home, I think it was, like, 7.30 around there. <laughs> almost. Yeah, pretty much. And it was already almost dark, and we wanted to do it outside. But then we can't do it outside today, either, because it's windy as shit. Because good old uh, Mother Nature always enjoys aligning with people's plans. Yeah. Well, when are you guys doing the winter podcast where you guys go outside in the snow? That would actually be a pretty good idea. I'd do it. I would do it. Because it probably wouldn't be that windy out. It would just be cold sitting outside for an hour. Yeah, it'll be a blizzard and then your computer gets all wet and blows up or whatever. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, well. It'd be okay. <clears throat> it's actually a good idea. We'll see if we actually end up doing that. <laughs> we could do a podcast at Bill's Tailgate. Because we usually stay in spots that really aren't that crazy. Yeah, we probably could. Just do one, like, put it on the back of the car. And just do it at the Bill's tailgate. We're yeah. just drinking and eating, like, dip and stuff. Fucking taco dip and shit like that. <laughs> just go 
cooking on the grill. <laughs> Fucking doing a podcast. That sounds pretty lit, I actually. Know, Let's do... We should try it, at least. Even if it's not like a full hour, we could just do like a like a 20 minute one. Yeah. It'd be pretty sick. The people tailgating next to you just do a swan dive on your <laughs> laptop or whatever. Sick. Like, That'd be jump, awesome. Jump <laughs> through the table. Yeah. It's like we were trying to film a podcast at a Bill's tailgate and someone jumped through our table, so yeah. it's like we're not mad. We'd probably be on like the news or something. <laughs> They'd be like, these uh, these young gentlemen were just trying to innocently film their podcast at the local Bill's tailgate this Sunday. <laughs> now they're suing them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a good idea. We can try that. We'd all have to like go... We could just have like the like the mic and just be like the worst audio quality ever. Yeah, it'd be the worst ever. But, but then we'd just be like stupid drunk and just like, yeah, we're at the Bills game, motherfucker. It's yeah. like it's eight thirty in the morning. We're on our twenty seventh beer. <laughs> oh, whatever. But yeah, how about football starting? The first week has gone by. Well, now it's already technically the second week games now, isn't it? Well, I guess so. Yeah, Thursday, 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 yeah. It's week two, officially. It's Saturday of week two. Friday the 14th, or Saturday the 14th. Day after Friday the 13th. Yes. Such a spooky day. What the hell is yes. that, a cat? Yeah, there's a cat. Oh. It's in the upstairs. <laughs> but they're just meowing through the door right now. <laughs> well, whatever. But yeah, the first game of the year, well, the first regular season game of the year was just bad. It was not even watch worthy. It was pretty boring. Yeah. Definitely not um, zero highlights, even though they still posted highlights the next day. And it was just like all defensive stuff. They're like, whoa, look at this defensive guy doing yeah, things. Really. There was zero offensive um, highlights. Mitch Trubisky doesn't know how to throw, and Bears defense was good. So uh, I really didn't watch Rogers any didn't do much. NFL games that really just seemed worth watching this weekend. There wasn't, like, a game that really stood out to me that much. The Saints-Texans was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I missed that one because I was at work. It was a Monday night game. So that, I mean, that was uh, that was the clear best game of the week. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could have watched that one, but didn't get to. It's crazy seeing Drew Brees just being still just insane. Just like, yeah, when he had, like, 40 seconds to come back and win the game, and he did it in, like, yeah. 20. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty lit. I wish I could have saw that. Yeah, it was, like, because I... I do pickums instead of fantasy football. I just um, do pickums for the Buffalo Bills subreddit. They just have a whole group that does them, just does pickums. You know what pickums is? Like, yeah, right? yeah. And uh, so every game, I'm just going for the team that I picked. I don't care. Like all the teams that I don't care about normally, I'm just like this team better win. I fucking picked them on my pickums. Yeah. And then the Saints is the one that I picked that week, and <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck, the Saints are gonna lose," and then they just come back in a crazy fucking. Final seconds win. And I was like, all right, lit. He had a 58-yard field goal for the win, too. Oh, the longest of his okay. career. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. It's definitely the most entertaining... One of the most entertaining football games I've ever seen. The most entertaining football game, I, in, in my opinion, was the snow game that we went to. The Buffalo, the Buffalo game last year. Or the year before. Yeah, I mean... I don't think it was that entertaining, but... That was two years ago, I think, if yeah, that's the one I was ago. at. I just yeah, think it it's super entertaining just because of the snow factor and just seeing them run around in the snow and then seeing how bad the Colts were in the snow. Trying to kick field goals and shit by having, like, 40 dudes in the field just kicking around in the snow trying to make fucking clear spots. I'm not even allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I like that game so much. It was just pure Buffalo. It was great. Yeah, it was pretty good. And then just everyone was drunk, so it was even better. And then I lost my wallet. Yep, I remember. We actually <laughs> talked about this on the yeah, very we, first podcast. Yeah, the first that was one we did with us. Yeah, in the kitchen. That was exciting. And you know, it comes full circle. We're back in the kitchen again, talking about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Only this time it's on recording. Oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> Whatever. So, what are you? Are you guys excited for any of the games this week? Uh, I'm trying to think what there is. Yeah, I don't even know what game. Atlanta are. and Philadelphia might be decent. Yeah, that might be a shootout. That's, that's a Sunday, Sunday night. Yeah, that's Sunday night game. Philadelphia did pretty good last week, didn't they? Like, they just yeah, yeah did. did a bunch of um, long-ass goals. Carson like, Wentz is my boy. And then the, the guy that they, the, the Philadelphia Eagles traded away and then re-signed him this year. Oh, Deshaun Jackson. Yeah, he was just having a ball-out game for whatever reason. He was just like, yes, I am back to Philly. Thank you. 
Let me catch all these touchdowns for you. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. What about the Bills Giants game? Are you? Do you think anything's gonna happen there? I, I think the. I feel like the the Bills should win that game. The I Bills don't should see, win. But do you know how the Bills are when they should win yeah. games? I know they should have won the Jets game. Well, they did win the Jets game, so. But um, it's just very weird. I don't know because the Giants don't have any wide receivers. Really, all they have is Saquon Barkley. That's really all they have. I I feel like the Bills have a good rush defense though, so I feel like it might be okay. Because I mean, even the fucking. Barkley's um, just really good, though. That's yeah. the problem. But he didn't even run that much last game, though. I mean, he he still ran a decent amount, but he Who, didn't. Barkley? Yeah, he didn't, his, like, ball out. His first uh, run was, like, a 50-yarder for a touchdown, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't a touchdown. I didn't think it was a touchdown. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. The Giants lost that game, didn't they? Yeah, they, they got decimated yeah. by the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah, their defense was bad. Well, yeah, pretty much everything they have is bad besides Barkley. Yeah, so the Bills should win, but they... You know, you just got to hope. Because all the wide receivers are injured this week. Like, their number one wide receiver, Sterling Shepard, he's out for this game. Yeah, I uh, saw that. I was like, oof. Hopefully that gives us a, a, a wider range. Yeah, Sterling Shepard's injured, and they signed Golden Tate. He's suspended. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wasn't Golden Tate? Oh, no, Golden Tate was in the Lions, right? Lions, then Eagles. The Eagles traded for him. I forget what they gave up for him. It might have been a third-round pick, and then he went to... Yeah, I think he had one year left on his contract, and the Eagles just didn't sign him. So he just went to free agency, and the, I think the Giants just signed him. Golden Tate's been around for a while, though, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, he's like 30-something. Yeah. He's getting up there. <laughs> I, I don't think he's that good anymore, but that's just me. <laughs> Probably not. Why is he suspended, though? I didn't even hear about that. Uh, it's I, PEDs. Yeah, I was going to say PEDs. <laughs> didn't, so, didn't someone on the Bills get suspended for that? Are they under suspicion? Someone just got suspended on the Bills for domestic violence or something, I think. I know it was something. Oh, like somebody know. on the Bills got suspended for recently. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not, I it's probably know. just some random guy that's irrelevant. That's <laughs> not even like a starter or something. Yeah. yeah, it was some relevant guy. Did you see the, um, the Cowboys guy is getting investigated by the NFL because he ran super fast? So they think he's on drugs and stuff? What? In, what? The, the, I don't know. This one guy... On the, I can't think of his name. It's like a weird name. Is it Gallup? I uh, just know he's fast. I don't know. It was a defender. Oh. But he caught up to this guy really quick. He ran like 21 miles an hour. And he caught up to the dude and pushed him out of bounds. So, and after the game, they announced they were investigating him for <laughs> performance enhancing drugs. And now he's making... Well, he's not making a big deal. Obviously, they're wrong. But he's like, I don't even drink protein shakes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Trying to think who you're talking about now. He's got like a weird name. I feel like his last name's a little odd. I can't think of it. I just I read no it this idea. morning. I know who you're talking about now because the I don't even think about protein chicks thing was like I didn't read the article, but I remember seeing the headline. It's, it was of the guy who's just like I don't drink protein shakes. I don't remember who it is. Yeah, but yeah, so they just think he's using performance hedging drugs because he ran fast. For some so, reason, I thought it was Demarcus Lawrence, but I don't think it is. No, it's like a I don't know if it starts with an H or an A or something. But it's just like a weird name, and he just he caught up to a fucking guy running really quickly, and they were like, "Wow, he, he can't run that fast. He's a defender." <laughs> but whatever. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really looking forward to any games except for the Bills game this week. But I'll probably try to watch as many as possible because I have the day off, so I'm just gonna binge watch football. Probably try to have like two games going at once because. <laughs> I just want to see all the games. That's usually what they do with Patrick's. I'd yeah. Be, I'd be kind of mad if the fucking Bills actually lose the Giants. Deserve to be mad. I'll be upset because they definitely should win. Yeah. They, considering their performance last week against the Cowboys, it was pretty disappointing. Yeah. But the Cowboys actually have an okay team. <laughs> I mean, the Bills have an okay team, too. Their defense is good. Oh, yeah. well, I think everyone's good on the Bills except for maybe Josh Allen, honestly, that I saw at least of last week. Because he threw like three interceptions, I think, or something like that. It was well, two he threw two, and one of them wasn't even his fault, and the other one got ta- um, called back for a flag. The only bad play that Josh Allen had was just the one that got called back by Yeah, a flag. that was the one that got called back. So he got so. lucky as fuck. All the other ones were from other people's faults. Like the one where he threw the Cole Beasley really low. And it just bounced out of Cole Beasley's hands into the... This well, one it it didn't even touch his hands. It hit, it hit like his ankle and bounced up into the guy's hands. 
Yeah. So it was just like a poor throw. Oh, well. I'm still on the Josh Allen's good train. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I he's don't okay. Know. He's I mean, he's still growing and learning, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. He's he's still good. Like that throw to John Brown was insane. I think he's better than he was last year, already. I just he Maybe, did get yeah, really, I he did know. get really unlucky with the fumbles and stuff. I still have more to see out of him before I really think he's like because I don't, I don't think he really won us that game. The Bills that game, I think it was definitely their defense and probably Devin Singletary because he had like five carries for seventy yards, which is insane. Well, technically, John Brown won us the game. <laughs> well, he did catch that touchdown. But. Yeah, but yeah, Singletary was great. I'm excited for Singletary. But I mean, the Jets had so many opportunities to score, but the defense just held them out. So yeah, the that Jets... could have easily been a blowout if our defense wasn't good. So what I like, so what I like to do is I like to go on the opposing team subreddits. Like I don't comment stuff to like troll people, but I just read the shit, and it's just like the Jets were like, I can't wait to crush the Bills. They're so trash. And then I, I'm during the games. I'll read. I'll read and comment in the game day thread and then I'll um, I'll like whenever something like bad for the other team happens I'll go on their game day thread and read what the fans are saying in there they were very very triggered they thought they were going to win the game they're like oh another turnover we got this in the bag <laughs> it's like okay congratulations on your loss I yeah. wasn't sure who was going to win that game honestly I thought it could have won either way it literally could yeah. yeah the way the way it was going it was it wasn't that great of a game no it wasn't but I always still like to see them Bills win. Yeah. It's always nice. The Bills are exactly 500 the last, like, eight years or something like that. So, good football to watch. Hopefully it's... Because every year they're 9-7 and seven or 7-9 seven and nine or something. Yeah, usually. Except for last year. I think they only won, like, five games, but... They were 6-10 and ten last oh. year. Yeah, it sucks. One day, they'll be really good, but... You just got to keep waiting for that day to come. And it seems like it's getting closer and closer. Like, they keep getting a stacked-ass lineup. And yeah. They just never had, like, throughout the years, like, ever since, like, Jim Kelly, they never had, like, a good good quarterback, like an elite quarterback. Yeah. And they're they're pretty much relying on Josh Allen to be that elite quarterback. Yeah. They're like, all right, Josh, learn this shit pretty fucking quick so we can just win shit now. But, like, I'm excited because all the, like, it, we really seem like we have a, a stacked offense now. Like, not super stacked, like, all, like, star wide receivers and stuff. But, like, we have pretty good players now compared to the last few years. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm happy about that. I just don't want Josh Allen to get hurt because if he gets hurt again, he's probably going to be fucked. Well, the O-line is definitely better than Oh, yeah. Definitely. Because th- those, like, those holes that they made for Singletary, like, they really opened up the run for him, like. They made, like, a huge... I, I don't remember what... Care, it was almost for a touchdown where he did that, like, weird, like, sort of, like, cut but got tackled before he could get to the end zone. Mm-hmm. There was, like, a huge hole there from the offensive line they made for him. So, I, I mean, I think the O-line's a lot better than it has been in years. So, And they also have, like, Mitch Morse and stuff. And, and they drafted, um, what is it, Cody Ford or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and Ad, Ad Oliver. Or is he on defense? He's a defensive. He's the guy who replaced... Uh, William, what's what? What's the fuck's his name? Kyle, Kyle Williams. Williams. Yeah, Kyle Williams. That's pretty much the hole he filled was Kyle Williams' hole, which yeah. Ed Oliver's good. So, yeah, Ed Oliver seemed like he was pretty okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's really <coughs> random. We don't even know. They could have like the best stacks team and still lose a fuck ton of games, but well, I guess we won't really know. It's only week two, so. Well, they have a pretty easy schedule to start the season, other than the yeah. Patriots. Yeah, all the articles I read, all the people I like ESPN and stuff think they're going to go 4 0 before they lose. But we'll see what happens. But one can only hope, that's for sure. Absolutely, Kyle. Yep. You like right. tuna fish? I love it. Good. My Ravens did good. They blew out the Dolphins 59 to 10. That game was such a meme. I didn't even wait to see it because it was done during the game that I was watching. Yeah, I didn't watch any of it either, but it was bad, I'm sure. I can't believe, like... Lamar Jackson had a perfect passer rating. <laughs> One of two quarterbacks with perfect passer ratings this week? Yeah, that day. Literally. The Dolphins are just like, we give up because we're tanking, and we just want to... And then, like, all the players that actually do want to win are just requesting trades. And yeah, stuff. yeah, literally. Like I, <laughs> they all immediately requested trades after they lost. And then I read another article, I don't know if you saw it, but the, um, the coach 
was threatening to trade them to the Browns. He was like using the threat of trading them to the Browns to the players. That's stupid. <laughs> it's like you all want to go to the Browns. Imagine well, using that as a threat to your players. They're just like, yeah, just send us to the fucking Browns. We'll probably win some games. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I mean, the Browns are definitely better than the fucking Dolphins. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. It's funny. Yeah, so I don't know. The Dolphins are either just super bad or they're actually just trying to tank the living fuck. Oh, they're definitely tanking. They're trading away all their players for, like, first-round picks and stuff. Like, those... They traded away Kenny Stills and what was his name? Um, Laramie Tunsil? Yeah, yeah. They're offensive linemen to the Texans. And they got... I think they got, like, a first-round pick and... Maybe it was two first-round picks. I don't remember. I don't know. All I know is they're definitely tanking because they're trading away all their players for just draft picks and stuff. So they're on the rebuild. Yeah, it's like kind of dumb. And they're starting quarterbacks, a backup quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick, so, you know. <laughs> they're relying on that Fitz magic. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to work for them. Well, I mean, Josh Rosen's first pass was an interception. Oh, I know. So. I don't think Josh Rosen is... They are com- they completely I mean, just gave up on him. They're like, nah, fam, you can just sit on the bench. It's like, nah, you don't even get a chance. But we'll just keep Fitzpatrick in, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Fun stuff. <laughs> Gotta love living in Miami. Josh Rosen's like, yeah, I'm fucking rookie quarterback last year. I'm fucking gonna come in the NFL and do some shit. He was like in the conversation with like Josh Allen and all them. Yeah. And then he's just nobody now. <laughs> just doesn't even get any play time. And then the only play he gets in was a fucking interception. Whatever. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Rip. And he's going to get traded to like some other team randomly, and then he's going to ball out. But, I mean, I haven't seen much Josh Rosen. He was before. literally not given a chance to succeed in his career at all. Yeah. Because the Arizona's O-line was awful and yeah. killed him. And they were like, we're getting a better rookie quarterback. Bye. <laughs> literally. And then, they, and then they traded him to the Dolphins, and the Dolphins are like, we don't want to fucking win. So. Yeah. yeah, he hasn't had much of a chance, really. Well, I do think Kyle Kyle and Marley is better than um, Josh Rosen. So yeah, he. I mean, I was always. I'm. I've been skeptical of Kyler Murray just because he seemed like he was gonna flop really hard, but then he just came back. Really, I mean, he he plays hard when it matters, but he doesn't play hard when the normal game's going on. Like it doesn't. Like he didn't play as good as when he needed to really come back for the points. It seemed like to me, anyways. I don't know. But then once he was like, "Damn, we should come back and win this game." And then he was like, all right, let me just ball the fuck out and tie the game. I wanted to draft him on my fantasy team, but Donnie got him, so I was disappointed. Rip. I know. My dad in my in my <coughs> early league drafted uh, Patrick Mahomes and Kyler Murray. Wow. Oof. How so. do you get both? I don't know. I got Sammy Watkins, so that's good. Sammy Watkins fell to, like, the ninth round. And everyone was like, he's going to get hurt. And I'm like, okay. And then he so just, I drafted him, and he just had the biggest week. Yeah, literally, like one of the biggest weeks of his career. I think that was the best day. Of and his now career. he's yeah. he's literally the only like receiver in Kansas City, so he's gonna ball out. Yeah, until he gets hurt. <laughs> yeah, until he stubs his toe on a player's helmet, and he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> he's got to have a season where he doesn't get hurt. It's gonna be this year, probably. I mean, as far as things are going, he looks pretty good. But you know how, just week one of the NFL, so week two is when everyone's gonna get fucking destroyed. It's like, well, 47 people got hurt this year, and they were all number ones. It's like, or this week, not this year. Whatever. (sighs) Yep, Jacob. Yes. Tired? I'm just old. (laughs) How how old are you this year? I'm like 58. Oh, nice. Nice, yeah. Just kidding. I'm actually 68. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. You look pretty good for your age. I'm getting up there, I know. You use that uh, anti-aging cream? I have no idea what that even means. I'm just old. <laughs> I just sit down and that's it. Is your dementia kicking in yet? Probably. That's pretty good though. Well, at least you don't have to remember that everything's bullshit. True. Very true. Jacob, I know you sent them in the meme, not a meme chat, but just in the chat in general, that uh, Sean wanted to trade with you. Did you accept either of those trades? That wasn't Sean. It wasn't Sean? No, that was Zach. Oh, it was Zach. So, oh, yeah, it was Zach. Sorry. My bad. No, I didn't accept the trades. No. Yeah, I sent him a I sent him a trade request for TJ Hawkinson. What was it? I, I, I was going to give him John Brown and Mohamed Sanu for T. 
TJ Hawkinson because I had no idea what he wanted. And then he was he countered that for Sony Michelle, and I was like, I'm not giving you Sony Michelle, <laughs> especially not this week. Yeah, no, Sony Michelle is gonna probably ball out. <laughs> the, the Dolphins are probably gonna let another sixty points on the board. He needs a running back, apparently. He does. He's, he's been looking his, for his running second backs. running back is but, Duke Johnson Jr. I don't have any other running backs on my bench, so. I, I, have pretty, I have decent running back depth, I think. I'm trying to remember. I have, yeah, I, I have, I have like, good receiver depth, but... Uh, I have, like, five running backs, I think. I have Bell, Bell, um, Freeman, uh, Chris Carson, David Montgomery, Adrian Peterson, and I think that might be it. But that's okay depth for me, so... Because I think David Montgomery is going to be good. I just got to wait for him to the Bears to stop being retarded and actually, like, use him. You said you had Bell? Yeah, I had Bell. Bell's hurt now? Well, now nah, he's fine. He, he said, like, on tw- like, the MRI came back. His shoulder's fine. He was like, checking for, like, ligament damage or something like that. Oh. But he said his shoulder's fine. Well, that's yeah. good. And Sam Darnold has mono? Yeah, because he's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's like, yes, let me get all this gross pussy. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, I'm a famous QB now, so I can fuck anyone I want. It's like these New Jersey girls be looking nice. Yeah. Just pays for hookers. <laughs> Literally. We're just slandering him on a <laughs> podcast right now. <laughs> now we're going to get sued. <laughs> if we just get a cease and desist order yeah. from, <laughs> from Sam Darnold's fucking lawyers. <laughs> Oof. Oh, well. Just to make everything clear... Sam Darnold's a good man. We know he would never do something like that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we know We know Sam Darnold's not the type to buy hookers in New Jersey. Yeah, he would never do that. Especially on the days after a losing game. Of course. To a, to a game they should have won against the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> yep. We're sorry, Sam. <laughs> I don't know why this is a funny to me. <laughs> Whatever. I hear that cat meowing again. Yeah, the cat doesn't stop meowing. You ever, I get let, it. You ever let it out? Uh, it can't come out. It's locked in there forever? Well, it's not locked in there. It's got a whole ass load of room, but it's just like, let me go to the door and meow. It literally has more room than I have in my room to move around. Like, It has an ass load of room. And it's got a big ass fucking one of those like refillable water containers that like fills itself back up after it like, drinks some of it. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Is it a Tesla? <laughs> yeah, a Tesla. A Tesla, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then it has, um, I gave it wet food this morning. Um, what, you, sp- you poured water on it and then spit on it? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what yep. I did. And I gave it, like, canned food and put it in its dry food on the, um, in the bowl. But it has, um, there's three bowls of food. Because the my roommates are on vacation right now. So they have, like, a couple bowls of food. Because they're only going to be gone. I think they're coming back to, uh, tonight or tomorrow. But there was still three full bowls down there, and then the one that was upstairs all the way, I put wet food into. So, it's definitely not hungry, I can tell you that. It wants to come out. Yeah, it just wants to come out of there. Unleash the beast. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Unleash the beast. <laughs> just, to, just open the door and a monster can rolls out. Sick. <laughs> and then I walk out. Claws out Kyle's eye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I hope so. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Yes. <laughs> it just stopped. Didn't like that one. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like That's a, a nice cat. It's really nice. Is it's it just a, really annoying. Is it a baby? No. Oh. It's older. It's not old, old, but it's like a middle aged cat. And it's really soft. And it's gray and black. It's really cute. Very, very cuddly. And whenever you pet it, it, like, freaks the fuck out because it wants all the attention. Oh. Which is probably why it's meowing. It's like, I hear people out there. Oh, my God. Fucking pet my head. Jesus Christ. <laughs> probably. It's usually what cats do. Has it ever tried to eat that goldfish? Well, it's not even a goldfish. Whatever that is. It's a beta fish. fish. Beta fish? No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that cat doesn't even know it exists. Oh. Yeah, yeah the, even... cat, the cat doesn't really come down here at all, so. The cat likes to come into my room whenever it does this, or, uh escape from that room and then it takes a shit in your room <laughs> it does not but <laughs> probably thought about it yeah <laughs> it's like wow a place I have not been to before yeah. I must defecate in this area 
Oh, wait, never mind. There's puke on the floor. I don't have to do that. <laughs> this, this was before that, Jacob. Come on now. Sure, it was. Damn. <laughs> it happened last night, Jacob. Yeah, the cat has not been out since last night. That's for sure. We don't know. Maybe there's been multiple incidents. I last think night. So. Last night I drank five beers and threw up. Well, I mean, they were. They're like bottles of Labatt Blue, like the glass bottles, but. So yeah, that was fun. It was like twelve. It was like twelve thirty. Not even twelve thirty. It was like twelve twenty, and we were watching Polecat on YouTube, and um, we're just sitting there. I'm sitting on one side of the couch, and Kyle's sitting on the other side of the couch. And then he just he 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 <laughs> opens up the recliner, lays back, and all of a sudden he just throws up everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Kyle. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I was like, go in the bathroom and clean yourself up. And he was like, can I take a shower? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. (laughs) I I literally took my clothes and washed them in the sink because they were just covered in vomit. It was so bad. It was like the grossest thing I've ever done in my life. I I thought it was pretty funny because I just didn't understand why he threw up. It was pretty funny. And it kept making me laugh because I was in there washing my clothes and I heard you coming here. And you were throwing up? Or yeah. Well, I was gagging because I was taking the paper towels and putting them over top your throat. Because it was starting to make the room smell like shit. So I was fucking putting them, I was putting the things down, and I came in the kitchen and I was like, mm. Mm. And I was like, yeah. Whenever I see throw up, I'm just like, yeah, nah. I'm yeah, not. same. It's bad. It is. Yeah, I, 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 start I know how gagging, it is. And it's just, like, last night I didn't have, like, anything in my system, so I was just, like, dry gagging, and it was the worst I was like, yes, let me cover this up with a fuck ton of paper towels so I don't have to look at this anymore. Just bring the cat down and we'll eat it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's like, mm, finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> it's like, this must be tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably had fish in it. From oh, the fish it yeah. yeah, it's true, it did. That beer battered is what got me so drunk. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, that beer was fucking intense, bro. What would you do if Kyle, like, threw up in your pillowcase? I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> I mean, he, he didn't really have anything around him to do anything on, but, so oh. he just kind of did it on himself, and then the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, it was fine. He cleaned it up, so I wasn't, I wasn't upset. I cleaned it up as well as I could. I understood, anyway. so I wasn't, like, pissed. I'm like, you fucking asshole! You fucking puking all over my fucking room! <laughs> Just don't even let him clean himself up. Just kick him out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. As Kyle's leaving, he throws up in your toaster. <laughs> I would at that point. Just, yeah. He's like, you like that, Josh? You're kicking me out? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and then the toaster. It's a fucking toaster. Where is my toaster? Isn't that it right there? That blue thing? Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that was a toaster. Oh. I didn't even know I had that. I was just what the ways. fuck? Josh is like, I what's a toaster? Was a toaster either. I had a toaster, but I got thrown out because there was a bug in it. So instead of taking the bug out of it, it was just thrown in the garbage. Throwing <laughs> like a tarantula in there or something. It was like a fucking... It was a cockroach, but it wasn't a cockroach because cockroaches are fucking big. It's it was like these little bugs we had when we first moved in. And we finally got them all gone. And then someone found one in the toaster. And they were like, oh my god. I wasn't home. So I come home and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, we threw your toaster out because there was a bug in it. I was like, you threw a whole toaster in the garbage because there was a bug in the bottom of it? Ooh, it's going to contaminate all of my bread. Like, just flip it upside down, shake the bug out of there. There probably wasn't even a bug in it. They probably just did like something stupid to the toaster and they're like, we got to make up a lie because we accidentally <laughs> broke his toaster. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe they did. Yeah. It's possible. I wasn't home to know, so... Just cram a jar of pickles in there and then... <laughs> <laughs> they turn on and, like, they have a fork connected to a string. And they just, like, what happened when we do this? <laughs> they just drop a fork in there. <laughs> that jar of pickles explodes inside the fucking toaster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love when these things yeah. happen. They were trying to create pickle rip, so... Yes, they were doing science experiments on pickles. Yeah. It probably would have worked, but they just put the whole jar in there instead of just the pickle itself. Yeah. So that's what yeah. they... Yeah, bad they, planning. They faulted there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <clears throat> so, Jacob, anything new? Uh, 
I'm trying to think of something here. You What's know? the most exciting thing that's happened to you since our last podcast that you were on? Um, this wasn't really exciting. I don't remember if I told you guys or not. Like, on my first day of, like, college or whatever, we, you do, like, icebreakers and stuff on oh, the first day of school. Yeah. Okay, I think I told you. I don't know if I told Josh. I didn't hear it. Okay. Basically, um, the icebreaker was basically you and the person sitting next to each other kind of do, like, a little interview with each other. Like, you ask their name, where they went to high school, and I'm trying to remember, like, one cool thing about themselves or something like that. And um, and then they would introduce you to the class based off that, that sort of thing. And, like, you know, I, like, I told them, my name's Jacob, I went to Lockport High School or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, like, one cool thing about myself is when I was in Florida, I saw the Falcon 9 go to space, which is, like, uh, it's a ship. Well, it's not really a ship. They, they sent, like, a... It's a rocket ship. Yeah, but they sent um, a capsule with supplies in it to the astronauts or whatever. And basically, that's what I saw. That's what I told the guy. <clears throat> and what he told the class was, this is Jacob. He went to Lockmore High School, and he saw a falcon die. <laughs> uh, and then everyone uh, everyone started looking at me and laughing, or they either looked at me like I was some kind of psychopath. And I, I was just, like, embarrassed. Like, I didn't know what was going on. And the teacher's like, don't laugh. That falcon had a family, so you're just memeing on me, too. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, what the... F-? I, I, I couldn't even, like, think after that. I was just like, I, I, I didn't know what the hell happened. Did, did he say that on purpose? Did he just misunderstood me? I'm pretty sure he misunderstood me. Somehow, but I, I was like so confused, and then like after everyone else went and did theirs, because I was like the second person, I, I like raised my hand, like I would like to reiterate something. I I watched the Falcon Nine go to space, and nobody was listening at all. So, so they all think I'm just some fucking idiot in that class, probably. Oh, that's the guy that watches Falcons die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watched the Falcon. Some, it was something interesting about yourself. I watched the Falcon die. <laughs> I, I was so embarrassed. That was like. The most, I, I almost didn't want to come back to that class at all. It just makes the other person dumb. Like, why would they... They weren't, like, writing this stuff down or anything? They were, but I guess... I, I didn't look at what they wrote because I, I don't know. They had the paper, and I'm like... I never thought in my head that that's what he would have wrote down. I just... That never occurred to me. Because I, I said, like, it was even, like, SpaceX and stuff like that. And I don't know. He probably just wasn't paying attention or he just didn't care, probably. Probably not. He's just like, yeah, okay, he saw a fucking die, cool, whatever. Yeah, literally. What was, what was his interesting thing? He likes to travel. Wow. <laughs> yes. yes. What a what a great human. Yeah. Generic answer number three. I don't know, it was just, it, it was, I was just embarrassed. I like, you watched a falcon die. Yeah, I know. That, that's why I hate going into that classroom, like, every day now. It's just like, they think I'm some person who's probably going to shoot up to school someday, probably. <laughs> Because something interesting about myself is I watched an animal die, <laughs> even though it's not, because I never watched a falcon die. <laughs> oh, just... People are so stupid, Jesus Christ. That's why I hate fucking, like, the first day of college when you do all those icebreakers and shit, or just in school in general. I hate icebreakers so much. Yeah, like, icebreakers are really stupid. It's so awkward and just bad. It's like you have to talk, you're forced to talk to these random strangers and yeah. tell them stuff about you. And then you never talk to them again, usually. Yeah. At least for me, but I'm just like antisocial and I don't like talking to people, so I don't know. It's like, okay, everybody tell the person next to you uh, how much crack you smoke on a daily basis. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, thank you. Literally. I think it's dumb that they made the person you talk to introduce you. Like, why wouldn't they just have yeah, yourself do that's it? That's the thing. That's why I don't understand. Like, I thought that was kind of dumb. And then, like, a thing I found out for um, my writing class. Is, you know, I, I gotta write, like, six essays, but the essays are pretty much a random person's gonna read your essay to the class instead of yourself. Oh, God. So they can just I, read it in a horribly different tone than you wrote it in. Yeah. And make it sound like ass. And the first one's, like, uh, a biography about yourself, so... Oh, my God. So it's literally just gonna be a random person reading to the class about me that I, I don't even know what I'm gonna write about yet, but it's just gonna be so weird and awkward... And it's just like, I mean, I'm going to have to do it to somebody else, too. But it's just, it's so weird. Like, if I, if it's about myself, I feel like I should read it, not somebody else. Yeah, read it to class. They're going to read it in a tone that's indifferent to what yeah. you meant to write it in. And if I have to, like, put in the context of some things, I'd be up there doing it instead of, like, I don't know. It's probably just going to be horrible. I just have a feeling it's going to be bad. Good old education. Yeah. I don't, like, because it's just 
Because it's like my paper. It's like my grade. I, I don't know. I should be the one reading it to the class. Yeah, I, I hope they're not going to grade it based off the way the person reads it. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Because that'd be just literally unfair. Yeah. It would be. You're just, they're just reading it like... And then I started working at this place, and, yeah. and they're just like, well you, well, you got a B. You could have gotten an A, but the person that was <laughs> reading it was pretty... They didn't do too well of a job. See, I think you should have written it better. Yeah, that's... I don't know. That's... That's like the, the, oh, excuse me. That's the thing I'm like going to throw up, Jacob. I might, honestly, this, you know, college makes me sick. <laughs> We're thinking about essays and stuff because I have to write like two of them in history and in writing. But, um, like that's, that's why I, I, I hate writing so much. I just like, I'm so bad at it and I don't want to do it. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a bad writer. Yeah, I don't like writing either. So that's why anytime it's like an essay, it's like, I'd literally just rather do anything else. I, I prefer math over a fucking essay. I, oh, I love math. The only thing I was actually, like, really good at in school was writing. Like, I could write essays for, like, social studies and English pretty well. I wish I could do that, but I just, I don't know. My handwriting is, like, the handwriting of a two-year-old, and my, like, punctuation is just awful. Like, I never know when I'm supposed to put in a comma or anything. I'm just, like, dumb. I mean, I got a hundred on a history exam one time. I got pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah like for, the, you had to write an essay for part of it. Yeah. I don't know how I did that because I didn't. Well, okay, when I write essays for school, I don't reread them. Same. <laughs> I got ninety nines on my junior and senior year English exams for the like the final exam essay. Nice. And well, we had Mr. Tucker yeah. for junior year. Yeah. And I had Miss Halloran. For senior year, and she was like, "Oh, you got a ninety nine in your English exam. I'm so proud of you." I'm like, okay, thank you, teacher uh, that I just met. And then I got a ninety nine that year's final exam, and I was like, "Nice, I can do good at English." And then all my other classes, I had like high seventies, maybe. This was like didn't do great, but this is the only thing I was ever good at in school, like really good at. And I actually enjoyed doing wizards essays, but math. I literally didn't take math the last two years of school because I had both so I was just like, fuck math, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always like, almost barely passed math every year of school. It was pretty bad. The last math class I took was trigonometry, and I was like, F this. I never took trig, so <laughs> I just did, like, algebra and um, financial math, I think was the last one I took for math, so I don't know. I really didn't, like, start trying in high school until, like, 11th grade to 12th grade. Like, 9th and 10th grade, I'm just like, I don't give a shit. I'll skip school and not do my homework at all because I don't care. Oh, I never did my homework, yeah. so. We never did homework in the English for Mr. Tucker. We literally never did, like, any no, work. No, yeah, stuff. we didn't do any work and at all. we completely got away with it. Completely. No. You just let us do it. We, we slacked super hard in, in class. Like, we were supposed to, like, write that thing for the glazed ham thing. Or whatever, oh like yeah, there thing. was like an essay that neither of us wrote, and he was just fine with he it. He just didn't care. He just, uh, we'd never heard a thing about it. Damn, I wish I had a teacher like that. The only thing we got out of it was a really good meme that Mr. Was, Tucker was. Mr. Tucker was a good teacher. I'm just I I'm okay in class, but I always do well on exams and shit, so I never bothered me. Uh, I think I was just like dumb and well, not like like I used to act like a like an idiot like a. Uh, like a young stupid kid or whatever and then like after 11th grade I'm like you know maybe I should start giving a shit because maybe some of the stuff I actually learned might be useful and we're probably wrong about that one <laughs> well, probably <laughs> but I mean I had some classes that year like, like 11th grade and up that I kind of found it interesting like that weren't like the norm class like I did like a website page design class and I did like um was the other class. It, it was like a forensics. It wasn't for. It may have been forensics. I don't know. It was a criminal class, which I find that stuff interesting, and I actually liked that class. And there was actually a couple interesting, like when you first start off in high school, it's like you basically take all the generic classes, and then as you go out through the years, like you, they're more lenient on what you can take because you don't have to like take another math class or maybe a history class or something like that. Like it's like I don't know. Like, it's kind of like... Yeah, a, because, yeah, by the time you're, like, in 12th grade, you've taken most of the classes you need to graduate yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, So you can just kind of... Most like, of the classes senior year are... They only make you take a history class and a... What is it? What's the other class that they make you take? 
in English class, I think. I think I only had two I'm classes. I'm trying to remember here. if I did English. Oh yeah, it was an English class. You're right. I because I, I had English first period. Yeah, it was English and um, uh, like it was economics and um, pig. Yeah, economics and pig. Pretty sure I had. Yeah, I had like pig and English. I'm pretty sure those were, like the only yeah. classes I had. And then you'd even have to go to school the whole day. Like, well, I didn't. I, I got out after like sixth period, I think, or something like that, which was nice. So. Yeah, me and Kyle got back at like. Well, we got back during gym class or study hall. Yeah. And then we just go to lunch, and then that's it. That's yeah, much. and then and then we had pig or whatever in yeah. ninth grade. Yeah. And the ninth year. period was just nothing. We just left. Yeah. Senior year was actually like nice. Like I enjoyed senior. Year. Yeah, I liked senior year. It was as well. super easy. Yeah, it was. Didn't have to do anything pretty much. Yeah. It's like all right, we're in school. But we're not really doing shit at school. Well, we don't give a shit because we're the oldest kids. So. <laughs> I remember, um, I don't even know if I should say his name, you know what I mean? Well, I had this class, I, I'm trying to remember what it's called, it's like, I don't know, some like, where you, you know where you work in the shop and you build things and stuff like that? Mm, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much like, we pretty much did. I think I know what teacher you're talking we about. We pretty much did nothing all year. Because he just didn't, like, care. We did, like, three things all year. We built, like, a table, a garbage can. That may have been it, actually. <laughs> Maybe it was only two projects we did. And Nick was in that class, too. And, like, we would, like... It was me, him, and a couple others, and we built, like, a like a table, and it was kind of shitty, but... I don't know. We're not engineers, I guess. And then we built, like, a garbage can, too, that looked kind of ugly, but... I think it was, like, it's supposed to be an outhouse, as I remember. And then it, was, it went into, like, lunchroom... But, uh, yeah. Wait, like a full-size garbage can? Oh, yeah. It was... Well, actually, it was, like, more of a garbage... Well, I'm trying to you remember... You design a garbage can anyway. Yeah, maybe it wasn't a gar... Maybe it was, like, a garbage can cover where it goes around the garbage can. Oh, I can. know what you were talking about. I see... I did not know that students made those. Yeah. I thought they were just, like... No, those things, in like, that were in the cafeteria, probably. Yeah, they were near the cafeteria where the, um... Uh, shit. That little, like, concession stand was in that one yeah, there were. Yeah, there was, like, four or five of them, so... There yeah, was there, was, there was two of them right there. They're, like, painted on each side and had, like, different stuff on it. Yeah, I think everyone, like, came to agree. Like, we kind of did, like, a meme. And it was, like, all, like, farm themed. So there was, like, a barn. And ours was, like, an outhouse. And I forget what other ones there were. Yeah, I did see those. I did not know students made those. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we, had did, we did indoor track practice in that big circle right there. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think, like, what else is near there. See... There was the concession stand there, and then you go the. This I know way. what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 We like did the like, back entrance of the school. Yeah, basically. we did like the the stretching and stuff in that area, and those garbage cans were always right there. Ah, I'm surprised you remember those garbage cans, honestly, because I don't remember. They had, no, like, I have no idea what had, you guys like, are talking lids. about. They had like lids you pull up and stuff. Yeah. I remember. They were only there like towards the end of the year, though. Oh, yeah, because that was our pro- our final project, well, the only of the two projects we did. Basically, we did that one project at the beginning of the year and then played on the computer pretty much every day until, like, that last project, literally. <laughs> the class was literally just, like, chill. I had that teacher, and I, it was like a robotics class. It, does his name begin with a G? Oh, no. It ends with a C? No, I'm talking about... Or his about last name's with a C? It starts with a C, yes. Okay. <laughs> I have no fucking idea who you're talking about, so And yeah, we had to write <laughs> We had to write an essay on the guy who created the Segway. <laughs> what? <laughs> because the guy who created the Segway also created like the robotics competition. Oh, okay. That they're in. <laughs> I was about to say the Segway isn't really that important of an invention, yeah. honestly. <laughs> To, like the great invention of the segment. <laughs> yeah. Revolutionaries changed everything. And then we had to then we had to build some robots, but I was like, I don't know. I was the driver of the robots because the one kid that did it there was one kid on my team that was like just weird and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He didn't really do anything. <laughs> <laughs> he just kinda sat there and then there was like some girl that was a senior and she didn't really care either. So it was just me and uh, another kid that was on the robotics team. His first name was Matt. I think he was also a junior or senior. I was a freshman at the time. so Matt Topolsky? Yep. <laughs> I don't know if we could say that. Eh, it's fine, but... Oh, sorry. Matt... <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> just... I'm sure it's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but So me and him like built the robots, and they were really shitty, but oh well. The most impressive thing I did was I designed a crane to like 
pick because the robot you got points for moving water bottles and you got points for like picking yourself up on a pole in the middle and so i made like a crane arm and i like barely picked it up off the ground like that much i'm assuming it still counted i think so i don't remember <laughs> i imagine the grading was probably very lenient if i you know I, I imagine if you at least attempted to make a robot, they probably just like. Okay. Yeah, we. I mean, we built a robot that did something, so yeah. it's not like. I remember in middle school we built Lego robots. Yeah, that those had to like go sick. through like a track. I like. Thing. I like doing that. That was pretty good. You had to program it on the fucking on the computers and then put it in, and you had to keep trying it until it did it the right way. That was I was like the most fun class in school I ever had. It's just like the little robot cars. And you had to have it go through a maze, and you were graded based on how far in the maze it got, or if it yeah. like stopped. Excuse me, if it's like hit the wall or something and then stopped because you didn't program it to back up and go again. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was. That, that, I think there was a couple different things. I think there was like once, it had to like drive through like a. He had like those giant tables with like mats on the inside that had like yeah. things on them, like and crazy was, like horses, with robots yeah, on it. Yeah, and there was like one that was like a. Um, it was like a city, and he placed cones in areas. He had to like make sure your robot like swerved like around the cones and around buildings and stuff on the thing. That was pretty sick though. Yeah. I don't even remember good. the teacher's name. I don't even know who you're talking about. Was so. this North Park? Yeah. North Park. It was North Park. I only went there for like one year because was, I was I came from Emmett. Were you part of the merger? Yeah. I went to North Park all four. Yeah, years. so I went to North Park all three years as well. I was only there for eighth grade. I didn't really like it there, so. I don't even remember what it, what it was like. I didn't. I didn't like <laughs> yeah, the merger. It was, too long. it was literally like ten years ago. Yeah. Now, so I don't remember shit about that school. I don't either. So honestly, but I remember. I think the last I was in there, I think ninth grade. Or tenth grade, or something. I had my. I was went with my mom to pick up one of my siblings there, and it seemed like the ceilings were just super low. I like, I don't remember the ceilings being this low. Like it literally seemed like I could just like reach up and like touch the fucking top of the ceiling. Maybe the school was just collapsing slowly. <laughs> yeah, it's slowly shrinking in size. <laughs> Whatever. That school is, like, really big on the outside, though. Like, they, like, it's huge. It's, like, almost the size of the high school as far as, like, height. And, I mean, it's, it's like, half the size of the high school as far as, like, volume. Probably. But it's still a pretty big school on the outside. <coughs> they redid a bunch of stuff in that school, too. But, of course, they did it way after we were in there. Yeah, literally. Get all that funding, dude. Yeah, funding that we didn't have the enjoyment of. Yeah. Just like they redid the... They literally just redid the whole high school after we graduated. Yeah, they built a crazy, like, soccer field and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I they built... A, I'm pretty sure they built a track. They built yeah. a track behind the high school. Yeah. And it's like a really super nice track. And then they built one on fucking with that one road. Oh, I, I know what you... It looks like a baseball field or something, but it's across from, was it, not George, is it George Southern? No, it's... Charles Upson? Upson? Yeah. yeah. It's Upson. And they just built a whole sports complex over there, and I didn't even know it existed until it was done. I was walking to my parents' house, and I was like, what the fuck? When did they build that? Because I just hadn't gone down that road in years, and apparently they did it this summer. But Beatty Avenue? Yeah. I drove by a couple of times, and I always forget it's there. Oh, yeah. well, I drive by it all the time because of where I work. Yeah, oh, yeah. When I take the back ways, I always go out over there. I had no idea it existed. They redid all, like the entirety of the Lockport school system. Like All the schools are redone and all the sports complexes and stuff are redone. They put new bleachers in, in at the track and stuff like that. I've never been to that new YMCA. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'll never go, but on the outside, it just looks super nice. Especially when I look through the glass when I drive by it. I'm like, that place looks really nice. I helped build it. You hear that, guys? Josh is an engineer. He's an engineer for hire. Yep, an engineer. Yeah. Not a laborer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely not just a fucking shitty laborer. You want Josh to build a skyscraper? He can, he can work that out for you. <laughs> yeah, let me just draw it up for you. Pay yeah. me like $6 million, and I'll, I'll get it done for you. Yeah. <laughs> After I get back from my vacations. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I literally laid out the groundwork for that fucking place. And built the walls of it. So that was cool. Very cool. There's a lot of weird shit underneath buildings that I never would have known ex- except for that job. Like, there's, like, weird, like, cylinders and shit that, like, I'm assuming are just, like, for, like, plumbing and stuff. But, like, stuff that uh, you'd never see inside the building or know it's there. 
Yeah, that would probably make sense, like for plumbing, maybe gas and stuff, I don't know. But like there was big circles, and I'm like, what the fuck are these for? And then like inside the actual building, you can't even, you don't even know what the, they're there. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, I don't understand why we built all that shit, if, but I assume it has to have something to do with like electric and fucking water and all that shit. Yeah, all those wires and pipes gotta go somewhere, I I think that was, like, state-funded, because there was a lot of, like, super important people on the on the job site. And if you did, like, one small thing wrong, you got kicked off the job site. Like, they were, like, if you got, if the, you were saw carrying rebar without gloves on, you got kicked out and sent home. Wow. But there was, like, these really strict people out there. Uh, and, yeah, that does probably make sense. That's, like, a, like a state thing, or, I guess, a city, because they're all paying for it. Yeah, something like that. So but they fucking... Government. Yeah, and the thing was, is we weren't even part of the actual crew. They were just running behind, so everybody in the company I worked for had to go there. And the people that were assigned to that job were getting an asshole of more money than everyone else. Oh, uh, that's like stupid. all the the crew. There was two crews on, at our work that were um, signed up to work there, and they'd take a bunch of training courses and stuff. That like a week before they started doing the build, and they got paid like double what they normally do because they were getting paid by those people that were running the site. And the, then we just had to come and help, and we were still getting paid the basic amount we normally did. And I was really triggered because people were getting like two grand a week, and I was Damn. like, "Where's my money?" Oof. And then I almost witnessed someone die, which I I'm pretty sure I talked about on the podcast already. Yeah, I think you did. Probably more than once because it's just a good story. <laughs> Probably the best thing that happened on that entire time I worked there, which is a good meme. I technically kind of started it, even though I was indirectly the one that started it. Just someone was just yelling at me, and the other guy was like, Hey, don't yell at him! <laughs> they just started fighting because they were yelling at each other. <laughs> so I, I kind of started it, and it was over a shovel, too. <laughs> so it's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> oh, well. It was pretty exciting. But that was, like, one of the best job sites I've been on. It was really funny because there was a giant rainstorm. Like I said, I probably already talked about That's this. That's so. fun, yeah. But, yeah, it was one of the better jobs I've done. Other than the other McDonald's I built, the one McDonald's I built was the best job I ever had. Well, it was the same company, but it was just the best job I went on. Mm. Hear that, guys? <laughs> Josh builds McDonald's. <laughs> if you want a McDonald's building build in America. your backyard. YMCA's and McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit me up if you need to lift some eight-foot forms and drag them fuckers through the mud. Listen, if you want a McDonald's right in your backyard, Josh can build that for you. Or if you want to live in one, Josh can build you one. Yeah, yeah, I'll create. I'll build you a house that looks exactly to a T like McDonald's, and then get sued for stealing your plans. <laughs> Just change the M to a W. That'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Flip that M upside down. McDonald's. <laughs> oh Jesus! But yeah, the, we built a whole McDonald's in less than a week. Wow. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, we didn't build the whole, like, structure and all the inside and stuff. We just did the whole ground layout and all that shit in less than a week. <laughs> and it was, it was sick as shit because we just had one extra day and we didn't do anything. We finished it all super fucking quick. We were just like, all right. I can't, The only reason I missed that job is just because it, it kept... The days went by super fucking quick. Because you're just lifting heavy shit or running around and trying to not get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> But, like, those forms, we, the forms was, I actually enjoyed doing form work. The only thing I disliked was removing forms from walls, because that was just hard as shit. I don't know if you've ever seen forms, like, I think so. that, that, like, build concrete walls with, but they're just giant steel fucking things, and the ones we used most were eight, or six and eight footers, so we used six footers and eight footers, and then we used four footers for short walls, but those weren't um, as used as much, but we, we did a lot of things that were called house house walls just like the job site was just called house walls and like house walls one stuff like that and we we take these big long ass fucking heavy shit fucking forms off the back of the truck and then we'd lay them in piles in the middle and then we'd pass when I, well two well, it depends on how big the site was but there'd be two groups one would start on this side and the other start would on the other side and the person in the middle would hand the forms to each person. And I was always that guy that handed the forms to people. So I had to pick up these heavy-ass fucking eight-foot forms and hand them to people all day long, every day. How much would you say they weigh, approximately? Probably, like, 
I don't know. They were heavy as shit. So what, the way you had to pick them up, I probably hurt my bag really bad from this job. But I, kinda, I just had to do it really quick, so I just had to lift it as fast as possible. But you, you would pick it up. and you'd, So you'd pick up one corner, and then you'd lift it up and grab the other side, and then you'd push up to where it was standing up straight. And then you'd come around and go down like this, have one side, and then pull it up over your shoulder. And then break, walk it across the job site to the person that needs it. And you do that like 64 times every day. <laughs> and then if we did like businesses, like they were building like buildings instead of just houses for the basement walls, you would just be, it would be the same thing, but it'd be like twice as many. Yeah. We built, we built some building near the airport, but we only used four foot forms and four foot forms were really nice. Especially like towards the end when I was working there, because I already gained all the strength from lifting the forms all the time. So the, I could literally just carry like two four foot forms over my shoulder and just fucking move them really quick. Because there's the one on one side and one on the other to make the wall. So you just carry two at a time. That way you can just build the wall super fucking quick. But there was a super long ass building, and we got all of it done. We had the one long side and the then the the short part done in one day. And the next day we got the rest of the long side and the um, side wall done the next day. And it was long as shit. I don't know what the fuck it is now. I haven't... Oh. I never... I usually never see the buildings after they're... They go past the concrete wall part. It's probably just a meth lab. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Near the airport? Yeah. <laughs> they never expect it. <laughs> Whatever. How many toilets can you carry at work, Jacob? I usually don't do the toilets that often. Usually it's, it's either because I have no option, because no, no one's there, or it's just like... There's nothing else I can do right now because there's nothing really else to do besides to do that. So it's just like, I don't know. I uh, Usually at most, like, it would be at most I'd do, like, four toilets because you'd stack one toilet on top of each other, which is just, like, I don't know. The toilets are... I don't know how much a toilet weighs, honestly. It's pretty fucking heavy, though. Because I'll go to, like, lift it up and then, like, put it on top of the other one because you have to, like, lift it pretty much above... Uh, close to, like, shoulder high... Um, length and then like put it on top almost maybe not shoulder maybe like yeah I think it's around shoulder maybe actually and then like sometimes the toilets will just like they're in a box and they'll just like cave in and fall out underneath like onto the ground and break so <laughs> big heavy porcelain boys yeah and then you just throw it in the compactor because it's just garbage take one home yeah put it in your own bathroom yeah it's just a half broken toilet <laughs> it's like are toilets bought very often I think so I, I feel like they are, but I don't know. It's the same with, like, water heaters, too. Like, I wouldn't think that we'd sell that many water heaters, but we're at least getting them, like, quite a few a week, so. I remember one time, well, it's still up there. Well, it's just more than a couple things. It's just, like, things that, like, they'll get a fuck ton of, and I don't understand why. It, it'll be, like, all the same exact skew and everything. Like, we got these ratchets one time, and there's, like, six in a pack, and there was 20 of them, like, a 20 boxes of them. But six in a pack, so whatever six times twenty is. So it's like over a hundred ratchets and like or ratchet tie downs, I mean my bad, ratchet tie down. And like people people don't buy this many ratchet tie downs, so they've just been sitting up in the overhead for like months now because nobody buys them. Because nobody usually when people go to buy ratchet tie downs, it's because they just like have something that they just need to tie down. It's not like, oh I better buy some new ratchet tie downs to buy some new ratchet tie downs. For literally no reason. Yeah. Usually it's just like, oh, I'm Never buying... know when you'll need them. Yeah. It's usually like, I'm buying a fridge. I'm going to need something to tie it down to my truck or something like that. Yeah. That's literally, like, I don't know why we need, like, over a hundred of them. And then all those jackhammers? <laughs> oh, fucking... There's no reason for them to order that. Like, in the matter of days, like, we got, like, three new jackhammers, and jackhammers cost a thousand dollars there, and I have yet to ever downstock a jackhammer or see one become downstock because they're just always sitting up there. Nobody spends a thousand dollars on a fucking jackhammer at the Home Depot. Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't even know who would buy that. Maybe, like, a contractor or something, but still. Like, it's not something that sells that often, and it's a thousand dollars for it, too. Yeah, so it's, it's not, not something that average workman is going to go and buy. Yeah, it's not like an average civilian is going to come in. I want to destroy my sidewalk in front of my house. I want to buy this. <laughs> Like you get arrested because you know it's not your property. Yep, that happens, Jacob. You yeah. just destroy the city. We did what I, I don't know. I'm going back to the concrete shit again. We we've destroyed and redid a bunch of 
sidewalks that I'm pretty sure is just city sidewalks. So I don't know if we're just allowed to do it because of our company, but I, I, I can count many times that we were redoing like people's driveways and stuff and we had to just take out like a big long length of their sidewalks and redo them. Oh. I'm assuming this, the city wouldn't get mad unless yeah. you like took it apart and then didn't redo it. <laughs> but yeah, I just probably. feel like they probably shouldn't I feel like they probably aren't supposed to do that, but... Yeah, I feel like you'd have to get, like, a permit or something to do it. I don't know. Or something like that, I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure, like, all sidewalks are owned by whatever county they're in. Yeah, because it's not like you own them. Like, when you buy the house, like, your property line. I don't know. Yep. Fun stuff. Absolutely. (laughs) Let's go destroy a sidewalk right now. Yeah. Yeah, we have sidewalks in front of my house. And then use some quick creek to fix it up. (laughs) Do it the worst way possible. Yeah. And leave stupid prints in it. There are some pretty bad sidewalks around here. Oh, my God. We have, like, some of the worst sidewalks. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You know what I don't understand is if you go down, like, the street down here, like, if you keep going, it just turns to a brick road. I don't understand that. Yeah. Well, it's so bad. All of the streets used to be brick. Yeah, I know, but why is that one still brick? They're just keeping that one in hopes of it keeping the historic aura. It's terrible to drive on. It's horrible. It's getting really bad. It's, like, sinking in 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 spots, too. And I assume at some point they're just going to be like, yeah, fuck, we don't need this bricks anymore. Because they're definitely not going to re-brick it. There's no way. I would hope not. They, yeah, they're definitely just going to pave over we'll it see. in a couple of years, probably. Because that it's getting a lot worse than it used to be. Because I remember it used to be way smoother. And it wouldn't be that... There's, like, potholes in it now. There's, like, bricks missing and shit. Yeah. It's like, all right, well, sure. Yeah, I never drive on it. And then there's spots down in the city where the fucking... You can see the brick underneath. Yeah. They just paved over the bricks, right. and now it's coming back up because of the potholes and shit. Wow. Just like the cheap way. It's just like all the pipes and stuff are from like the 1920s or what, not 20s, but I'm like pretty 40s. sure the RC got like a grant from the state for like millions of dollars, and I haven't seen anything done. Like, what did they do? Did they do anything? Probably not. They to probably just like what? pocketed the money. Probably, probably maybe they replaced the pipes or something because the... The uh, plumbing is, like, from the 1940s or something like that. They well, haven't, like, changed it. Well, I mean, they do fix some when it breaks and stuff like that because they have no choice. But. In the beginning of the year, like, towards springtime, they announced that Lockport won some contest for the state. And they won, like, a grant or something for to remodel stuff. And they wanted people to send in suggestions of what they should redo. And I just haven't seen anything done. Oh. I have no idea. I haven't seen any, like, roads redone or sidewalks replaced or, like, shops even, like, remodeled or anything. So I don't know if they actually did something and I just haven't seen it. Or if they're just like, yeah, we did stuff. <laughs> or was, just, that, was that for the YMCA or something, maybe? I don't no, know. that was built before. Oh, okay. They, it was a grant to help fix the city. Oh. And it was like a couple million dollars, or maybe it was like one million dollars. Like to fix the city, you mean fix our pockets? <laughs> <laughs> like buy me yeah. that new Dodge Charger I've always wanted? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they just give us money like a welfare check. <laughs> no, I was talking about, was talking about like, the, like the people in the government profiting it, like the mayor or something, I don't know. Who I just handles that stuff. I don't know, I was just excited because they were like, yeah, we won this grant, so we're going to do a bunch of stuff. Send in your subjections and... Will uh, whatever one gets the most votes or whatever ones get yeah. the most uh, build a giant statue of Limp Biscuit <laughs> in the middle of Lockport yeah. with no significance whatsoever. Yeah. Just like the like the mayor comes out, he's like, okay, the uh, best, the most suggestions were the mayor gets to keep the money and <laughs> live happy. <laughs> oh geez, look, it's nine thousand votes for the mayor to keep it all. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're so kind. <laughs> Literally. I'm pretty sure our last mayor resigned or something because he got caught sticking his hands in the cookie pot. I have no idea. Yeah. He, I like, all of a sudden, like, had a brand new car and shit, and they were like, uh, yeah, so how'd you get all that stuff, bud? <laughs> I might be wrong. I might just be... I, yeah, I have no idea either. I don't really, like, like, pay attention to that stuff that much. I just sort of meme on it. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a whole thing. Because in there, now we have a, um, a woman that's our mayor, and it was some guy before... I can't remember his name now. You never know your, your fucking town's mayor. I don't even know what the fuck her name is. But yeah, Only old people care about that stuff. It's true. I met her at the World War II thing that nobody showed up to this summer. <laughs> they did a uh, um, <coughs> ceremony. Because you know how, I don't know if you ever go down Main Street often, but they yeah, have those flags up on the Main Street, on the, all the light poles. 
It's all like World War II veterans from Lockport. Oh, okay. And my great grandpa was on one of them. So me and my whole family went there. And we were, um, they made a Facebook page. I'm pretty sure I talked about this on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, well, I'm not sure. The, I know you told me before. But yeah, so they, nobody showed up to it. But the mayor was there, and we got to meet the mayor. <laughs> so that was cool, I guess. Sick, dude. <laughs> you met the mayor? Yeah, yeah dude. Home famous. Yeah. yeah, I'm so high class. I get to meet the mayor. Yeah. Did you plug her that uh, podcast info? <laughs> like, yeah, can up. the city of Lockport sponsor our podcast? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick and very not possible to happen. Yeah. But like, <laughs> you should be just like, all right, say this on your podcast. Say this. It must become a political podcast on accident. <laughs> like, if you swear, we're charging you money. It's like, yeah, okay, right. well, um, we're going to not do this anymore. Thank you. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> so, Jacob, any last comments? Um, trying to think of anything crazy, but, you know, life is life, I guess. Okay. Nice. I am doing website page design, too, in school, but, actually, you, never mind. You're never creating mind. a dope-ass website right I, now? I am. My first project, well, it's not even a dope-ass website. My first project is, like, a, pretty much a website that's just... It's basically a picture of myself and a paragraph of who I am, just so everyone knows who I am, I guess. And they can just go on the website and it's there? Yeah, they can they can view it. That's how, that's how they're going to get to know me, apparently. <laughs> it's my first website. So that's why I was asking, like, I asked in the chat the other day, I'm like, does anybody have a picture of, that, of me? Of just, like, a random picture so I don't have to be a douchebag and take, like, a selfie to put on my website? <laughs> You get those pictures from, like, that one party we had at Nick's house where he was just taking pictures of us the whole time. Yeah, there was one from that. I think I'm going to use this one that somebody took of me. I think it was Nick took of me at, like, Lasertron. Even though they're like, wow, he goes to Lasertron? What is he, 12? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Hopefully. me. I, I have, like, the rifle and, like, the pack on, so it's just, like, going to be that. It's my profile picture, and they're going to be like, wow, what a loser. Probably, Jacob. Yeah, that's what I would think. think. Yeah. Lasertron's for children, I know. <laughs> It's pretty right. fun, though. But. Okay. All right, so we're going to end it here. Uh, we've had a pretty pretty decent one this time. Yeah, Kyle's uh, tired. He's got to go to bed. Yeah. He's probably got to go throw up again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's why I'm trying to wrap it up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so that's going to be the end of our second video podcast. It'll probably be up in a few days. Um, uh, you can like and subscribe this video so we get on the front page of YouTube, dude. We'll comment a million things so it gets lots of visibility. Um, I'm pretty sure our last video podcast has like 35 views. So we're just dabbing on them. Yeah, we're rolling in the fuck. Rolling in the views. Yeah, the ad revenue. Yeah, the ad revenue just rolling in. <laughs> I have 35 views is more than I ever expected to get, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, you only expected 34. <laughs> I expected like 8. <laughs> because all the last, the last uh, audio podcast we have on there has like 5 views. So I was not expecting it to get any views whatsoever. One of them has no views. Yeah, one of them has zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, and our, our Spotify has been just not been clicked on at all. Like, nobody's, like, the past, um, when I looked at the analytics last week, it said the last seven days, zero listens. And I'm like, okay. Uh-oh. So we got to pump up them numbers. Dying. Yeah. Yeah, we're dying. It's a dying breed out we're here. Dying channel. <laughs> we're not dying. We're, we're up and coming. It's not a phase, Mom, I swear. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, you can follow us on Instagram, um, Spotify, Twitter, all the whole lot. We have a Facebook page, too. Um, I rarely post. And the only time I post on the Facebook page is when we actually upload something new. So just, I mean, you could just follow one of them because I just do the same thing on all of them. I just, um, I have different followers on each one. So I just post whenever one is um, uploaded to Spotify or um, YouTube. So you can follow us on those, and you can subscribe to our channel because we're the best fucking podcast in existence. Don't, don't you agree, Jacob? Of course. I want to argue that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> uh, I, I am 100% confident in my statement. Um, it's, a, it's written in a contract signed by my lawyers. Absolutely. So everyone knows. But yeah, so thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, if you are watching. Um... And we'll catch you next episode. Yep. Don't forget to wash your noodles. Goodbye. <laughs>